What's up everybody? Welcome to Traveling Art Room. I know what you're thinking. You're like, how in the world did she make this really cool Keith Haring inspired dog using warm and cool colors? I'll show you how I made this in the next clip. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project are some thick Crayola markers, or if you have some really awesome markers like Prong or Sharpies, whatever you have at home, go for it. I've also got some thin markers to get into those tiny spaces. And if you check in my info tab, I will have these documents for you to upload and print out um, to create your design with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose this template. I love the Keith Haring dog, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now what you need for this step is to just kinda break up your space, and what I'm gonna do is draw my endless line with a pencil. And because of all these kind of sharp edges, I'm gonna create a very organic endless line, which will be full of curves. And I like to start in the corner to draw my endless line and draw these curvy little worm lines. I'll let these lines kind of outline themselves. I really don't know, but just be careful you don't trap yourself. And as you notice, as I get inside the doggy, I go ahead and I make sure I go on top of that black line with no issues. Don't be scared to go over top of that black line. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. So you guys can watch me do this super fast. All right, so I am finished creating my endless organic line. It was important that I did not pick up my line as I was drawing, and it was important I didn't kind of close in on myself. If you trap yourself inside of the lines, don't panic, just try it again and start your line again so you can fill up your entire white space with your organic line. Now, we're gonna create warm colors inside the dog and cool colors outside the dog to create some emphasis. When you do this, it's really, really important you follow these steps. So, first step, get all your warm colors out so you can go ahead and get started. I also urge you guys to stay away from brown or black. Black because obviously the outline is black and brown because it just will dull your picture. So I have my cool colors over here, got my warm colors here, and now if you have pink or magenta or any other colors like that, go for it and use it. Now we're gonna start coloring this bad boy. I like to outline my space first, then I color nice and neat. Look, we already went outside the lines right inside that space. Notice I stopped where the black line was and I stopped coloring outside of the pencil mark. So it's important you guys do know that in this pick, this project, there are boundaries. Now I was gonna color with this thin marker, but look how big that space is. Why color a large space with a thin marker? So here's my big marker. I'm gonna use the big side of it. And when I wanna get into those sides, I use the nice little pointy part of my big marker so I don't stay out of the lines. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just continue coloring this. So it's important you pay attention to the lines that you drew with your pencil and your black lines to keep that border. About 15 minutes later, I was able to color in my dog and even the action lines that come from his mouth. If you look how I colored, I made sure I kind of alternated the colors like red, orange, yellow. I messed up a little bit here because the one's perfect and I put orange next to orange. But try your best not to put the same color next to each other even though you only got like three colors. Now if you got pink or another form of red or another form of orange, go for it and use it. But now we're done using warm colors. Time to break out the cool colors which are blue, green, and purple, okay? So you're gonna use these three colors and you're gonna alternate it. So what I'll do next to the red is I will go ahead and color green. And again, I outline the line that I drew with my pencil and I go right here and I just go ahead and color it nice and neat. Use the point to outline the line that you drew and use the side of your marker to shade in. We're only gonna use our cool colors outside of this and we're gonna fill up our space. All right, there you have it. You've got your warm colors inside of your doggy. You got your cool colors outside your doggy. I hope you had fun doing this project. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.